Hello everyone, this is Victor Campos and we are looking at Twitter for your business. In the previous videos we set up a Twitter account, verified our email, and started to personalize our uh, Twitter account a bit. Well let's get acclimated to what we've got in Twitter. We've got four buttons at the top, four sections. I'm currently in the me section, which is my profile, what everyone sees when they go to my uh, profile. Notice my profile is this address up here, twitter.com slash victors underscore bakery. So that's my Twitter name. Uh, this can actually be shortened now. The shorthand for it is simply when you give people I'm on Twitter at victors bakery. That basically means http colon slash slash twitter.com slash victors bakery so at victors bakery that's my twitter account if i go back to the home screen this will show me the tweets of the five accounts that i'm following when i set up twitter it recommended i follow accounts so that my timeline here my home timeline is not empty so that i have something interesting to look at so I'm seeing my tweet right there two minutes ago. I followed Mashable. What's Mashable about again? Well, you can click on any profile and you'll see news, resources, inspiration, and fun for the connected generation. Tweets by Mashable staff. I see that their profile preview here gives me some um, information. 115,000 tweets. 2,774 accounts that they are following and 4.4 million uh, followers. So a lot of people pay attention to Mashable. I'm currently following. If I don't want to follow an account anymore, I've got a simple unfollow button. So what else do I have in my timeline? Ava Fuhr. I don't remember following her actually because this is what is known as a retweet. Notice the icon here. This, this little spinning arrows and it says Mashable retweeted. So what a retweet is, and we'll do our own of course, is that Mashable found Ava's, or Ava's um, tweet uh, interesting. So Mashable retweeted it so that their followers, me included, would see the tweet. It's a way to get the, um, the message out for more, um, more, uh, more accounts, more content. I also see recently, uh, what else, a few Mashable tweets. I see a New York Times Health tweet 54 minutes ago. Uh, Peter Pachal. I did not follow Peter, but again, Mashable retweeted that. And most likely, if I'm following an account and that account retweets something, it's something that I might care about. Uh, Like-mindedness and all of that, etc. So, um, that's the home timeline. We go over to notifications, and at the moment, it's empty. But the home timeline is where my the mentions, favorites, and followers appear. Um, if I tweet something and someone likes my tweet, I might get a, uh, a notification. Uh, if I get any followers, I'll get a notification, etc. Discover is the screen where I could see more interesting things that I might care about, uh, where I can follow or retweet a variety of content. So we have a few sections that we can look at. Tweets, what's happening now? Tailored for you. There's also activity, which is similar to what I see in notifications who to follow if I need to, if I want to connect with more um, possible uh, Twitter accounts. Find friends, I can connect my different email accounts and find out who I know and follow them on Twitter. Popular accounts. 
um, following those that uh, might be interesting in a variety of, um, of topics. And then back to me. So, quick overview of the different sections. At the top right, we've got a few other little sections. We've got this direct messages, so I can connect with, uh, I can send private messages to people on Twitter. I don't have any at the moment, but this is where I access those. And then, of course, settings uh, up here. We'll look at lists and other settings a little later. And then there's always an ever-present new tweet button there where I can start to tweet. We'll talk about uh, tweeting and retweeting on our next video, but here we've gotten an overview of the different screens in Twitter.